Our dear Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we have to you know, bless you. We are so thankful to you, Lord, for uh, this opportunity to be back again in your presence, in your house to sit at your feet and to learn of your ways and of your nature in order for us to know how to conduct ourselves in this crooked and unto a generation in which we will find ourselves as a, as gross darkness has risen upon the land you promise us light we thank you for the light of the day that your grace and mercy has brought us in. To walk in the light even as you are in the light. We pray for more understanding, revelation from the eternal mercy. To each one of us, the Lord, speak your oracles to us tonight. Bless us with our word. Uh, take us to our highs and deeper depths. And uh, draw us closer to that precious breathing side. Hope us again tonight. Your sons and daughters that are on the way coming, we do commit into your hands, Lord. We pray, dear old Father, that you quicken their steps, bring them in circle. Thank you for the sons of Zion that have ascended that turn of mercy. May be a sweet server unto thee. Help us again tonight. Forgive us of our foolish ways, O Lord, and all that we've done against the perfect will. Pray, dear old God, that the blood cleanse and wash us. Make us susceptible in your presence and with our she has true. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you for coming to church. We want to welcome ourselves to the house of God again tonight. We are trusting God to help us again tonight. He as we go to the word of God. Um, a wise man of faith want to read two places from scripture and then um, um, the we'll look at the subject tonight so Revelation chapter 21 Yeah. You read him first night. Can you And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the last seven plates, and talk with me, say, Come hither, I will show thee. The bride, the lamb's wife. Let's take note of that to read the other scripture 
and then uh, we start. Shall we read the next scripture? That is uh, Revelation, the 19th chapter. And uh, the Bible says, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamp is come and his wife had made a separate may the Lord is blessing to a reading of his word oh please you can be seated yeah watch it so we welcome ourselves to the house of God again tonight and, uh, I want to start on a new subject. Um, uh, for the past few weeks, uh, we have had a to, to look at the doctrine of predestination. And uh, why is Brother Isaac was uh, looking at uh, all the future home? And Brother Tim uh, taking out through uh, faith building messages. Making us understand that God said that there's nothing too hard for him to do. What about how can anything be so hard for God to do? Uh, because he created all things, he has control by everything. And everything is under him. Yes, whether they be principalities, there be powers, there be rulers of this evil dark world, everything was created by him. So there's no cause for as we go through the things that we are gonna look at, we still would like to be looking at ourselves who actually we are. Yes, uh, it's having revelation of ourselves in the light of the word of God. So um, uh, we have had opportunity to look at uh, ourselves that uh, we were chosen of God, ordained of God before the foundation of the world. Yes, sir, and uh, we are part of it. Now, today, tonight, we want to go a step further. Yes, after we have looked at it, choosing us, now, before we created everything, we, are, we were ready in Him. Uh, his thoughts are internal. And we are part of that internal thoughts of Him. And um, uh, without us, God will never be complete. Yes, without us, God will never be complete because we are part of Him. Yes, sir, and uh, God cannot die like we can die. Uh, that, uh, that is why it says that he that believed in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live, and whosoever believed in me shall never die. So, the believer never dies. Yes, you just go to sleep. And uh, as, as we travel through the things I would have to consider, as we travel through the things that we want to consider, uh, we find out that we never die. Yes, God never dies. And uh, it's true can never die. He said, He that believed in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Uh, if you ever believe in me, shall never die. Yes, sir. And he said, He that believed in me has passed from death unto life. So the believer never dies. And he said, The scripture says that uh, when this earthly tabernacle is dissolved, uh, we have a one already waiting with where we got to. So just move from one body to another body. So there is an earthly body. Yes, there's an earthly body. And there's a celestial body. Yes, sir. Uh, this earthly body will lay to rest. Uh, because the, the flesh was made from the dust. And it goes back to the dust. Yes, sir, but the real you never die. So there is a terrestrial body. And there is a celestial body. Yes, sir. 
So we have a body already waiting for us. So we don't die. We move from one state to another state. And we must understand this. And that's why we must never fear death. Yes, we move from one state to another state. When we live here, we enter to another state. Amen. Amen. So, in our previous studies, uh, we are finding out that he chose us. And no man can come to him except he draw you to himself. And you sort of come and he shall no wise cast out. And we find out that we are of God. And we find out that we have been predestinated. And uh, when we find out that we have been chosen in him, and we find out that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings. In, in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And he's appointed to us as in all wisdom and prudence. And he has revealed to us the mystery of his will. And so the believers have no cause to fear. What are we to fear? What promise has he made and he has not fulfilled it? Yes, he conquered both word of sin and unsin. And he brought everything under his control. And that we must understand who we are. And where we are coming from. And uh, as we start this new subject, we will further gain understanding of who we are. Yes. And uh, we are going to start a new subject. Not all that new. But we are going to talk about the predestinated bride of Jesus Christ. And we are going to trace her origin. And if you can get where she's coming from, who she is, there's no cause for anybody to fear. Yes. And in that we will be looking at the characteristics of God once more. And not only that, we'll be looking at his attributes. And we'll be looking at uh, uh, we coming out from him. So we talk about the first Adam. And we talk about the second Adam. And uh, uh, as we travel further, uh, we will find out why uh, there was a slip. There was a sleep, you know. Yeah, so I've been coming down here. We know that we bypass becoming the world. And we became flesh men. Yes, that is why we are tempted and that's why we have to be proven and all that things that happen to us. Yes, sir, but if we are not part of the word, we will never become the word. Now, if we are not thoughts of God, if we are not part in God, there's no way we become the word. Yes, sir. So in you, we have been taken back to the word. So we want to start the subject tonight. And um, uh, we are going about to life this way. Uh, there are some few scriptures that we would like to look at. And um, after we have gone through these scriptures, um, uh, then we can uh, uh, now start tracing our origin. And these scriptures are scriptures about the bride. Yeah, we talk about the bride of Christ. But there is a need to know where it is in scripture. And where we even call ourselves the bride of Christ. Yes, sir. So, uh, for tonight, we are going to look at a few scriptures pertaining to the bride. Yes, sir. And uh, after that, if there's time, we continue for tonight and look at. Uh, um, uh, start tracing our origin. So, let's start now. Yeah, God bless you all. Yes, it's always a pleasant thing to be in the house of the Lord. Yes, sir. And, uh, um, uh, we are going to bless people. Yes, uh, I believe that. But we are blessed people. Uh, uh, we are the final voice to the final church age. We are of God. 
Yes, and the whole world lie down in wickedness. We don't care whoever speaks. If anybody speaks contrary to what Paul has said, he is an accursed being. Yes, whether the Pope, whoever he is, Paul said, if any man, even if an angel, comes down from heaven and says something contrary to what we have said, let him be a curse. We have a higher authority. We don't have the authority of the Pope. We have the authority of any church or anywhere. We have the authority of the scriptures. Yes. This is the age of neurotics. Yes, everything is going crazy. Uh, you cannot understand how people reason. And you cannot understand where they are going to. But we know that this thing is about to happen. But we put our voice against them. Yes, this is back to Noah's days. Yes, sir. Uh, there will be population explosion. Yes, sir. The fairness of the women. Uh, uh, there will be beauty among women. Yes, there will become irresistible commodities. Yes, sir. And men will fall at the shrine of women. Yes, sir. And uh, there will be goddesses all around the place. There will be goddesses. God. Yeah. And uh, sometimes uh, it's very beautiful. When you look at many of them, excuse me to say, without conscience. Yes, yeah, sir. With our conscience. I you know, sometimes it's very beautiful. Very, 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 very beautiful. Yes, yeah, sir. And Brother Brown says that they don't get the hips like, uh, uh, they don't get conscience like snakes don't get hips. Uh, like snakes don't get hips. Snakes, snakes don't get hips. Uh, they don't get hips. I Yes, yes, sometimes it's very painful. Uh, somebody had to call the attention to it. Yes, sir, somebody got to call the attention to it. So we are back in the house of God. Yes, sir. And we will be back in nowhere strange. The imagination of men will be able to continually. And there will be violence on the surface of the earth. Yes, sir, because the imagination of people will be able to continue. Yes, sir. So it's not surprising thing uh, the scriptures must be fulfilled. Yes, sir. And the battle, we must raise our voices against it. Yes, because in the days of Noah, God had a prophet on the same. He raised his voice against this evil. Yes, sir. But they are bound to come. And Jesus said, His coming shall be as it was in the days of Noah. And so this is about to come. Yes, sir. As always, you see, sisters, let me say this. In the days of Noah, the scripture says that the women were fair. Yes, sir. They were pretty. They were beautiful. But these are not natural beauty. Uh, this is an artificial beauty. Uh, which is bought in the stores. There are beauty and enhancing products. Yes, uh, cosmetics here and there. So this is a bunch of camp. That is why our sisters cannot dress in the house. And I'm going to show you something from scripture. That you can never be like the word. Yes, sir, you cannot dress like the word. I'm going to give you scripture from the book of Revelation. Uh, as we talk about the things that we talk about. Then if you go back to Genesis the 19th chapter, there we find lost days. And we find that a sodom and uh, all this kind of uh, uh, LGBTQ and all this kind of thing. What are the people fighting for? What are people fighting for? Are they fighting against procreation? Amen. Yes or not? If, if there's no procreation, everything comes to an end. 
Ada bawa nak ke? Abu negar apa ni? Abu suai nak apa nak? Ayah ada nak? Nabi faham bawa. And somebody gets up and tells you that I'm a man. I want to marry a man. I'm a woman. I want to marry a woman. That is the end of procreation. So is that what you are fighting for? Do I do I matter what you are calling for? Rise for? All of us should man marry man, woman marry woman. That's it. Look at why she. Do you get why she grab me? Back when I was you are doing. Is that what you are calling for? Where is our senses? Where are our thinking? Is that what you are fighting for? If everybody goes that way, no children will be born again. And it ends there. You see, you see, this is the age. Oh, no, you know. Age of neurotics. When a person gives birth, when a woman goes to labor ward, huh? when a woman goes to labor ward, Can you take for more hate? and uh, she gives birth, they fall. when the midwife comes up, tell me why I feel like that. Oh, you have a boy. The girl, oh, 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 I can't be no. Oh, you have a girl. I don't, I can't be you. Now they say that that is not so. No, no, if you are a girl, I can't be no. Is it because uh, you can't determine the gender of the child at birth? What kind of nonsense is that? When the child draws, is he not a boy? Don't you see the child as a boy? Don't you see the child as a girl? Will the midwife come and tell you that you have a, a male, female, something? We don't know what we're talking about. We don't know what we're talking about. We have transgender, we have people with both sexes, we have people with a whole lot of confusion. Yes. Uh, some, uh, somebody say I'm a black woman, but I feel that I'm a trap. Uh, in a white body, so okay. I want to be a white woman. Okay. What uh, kind uh, of nonsense is uh, that? I uh, have mercy. Uh, God have mercy. Who will stay with the word? And the scripture said. And God created man in his image. In the image of God created in him. Male and female created in them. God never created transgender. God never mixed the sexes. It's just the devil trying to deceive the people. And the people go in for change of gender. And after a year or two, they get confused. Because, because we are women. And you say you are a man. So you have been made a man. But that deep inside you, you me there, the main characteristics are there. Yo, yo, so so there, for some time, you behave this other way. No, I mean, I to and then you get confused hey, you whether you are a man or again. whether you are a woman. No, Jimmy, no, I love you, Jimmy. God have mercy. God have mercy. God have mercy. God have mercy. This is where the word has reached. But there will be light. Arise and shine. For your light has come. Shalom, church. Yeah. God is in control. Yes. He said this is what happened. So in the days of Lord, it was happening. And it will happen in our day. And there's nothing any man can do. There will be people for that. But there will be people for the truth. There will be people for the truth. Jesus said, when I come, shall I find faith on the earth? There will be people who have the true revelation of the world. Yes. So I have no fears. Let's walk in the light. Even as he is in the light. No matter who speaks. Whether it's a pope. Promoting homosexuals. Same self marriage. What kind of thing is that? That is not what Paul taught. That is not what Peter taught. 
If Peter is the man that had the keys, money. If Peter was the one that had the keys, can you pay for you? Money, some flair, huh? And the keys have been given to him. Like some flair, huh? Why is he teaching contrary to what Peter? Anyway, if you are, 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 he can teach you like that. No, no, Peter, you are. Yes. So we don't care who teaches you anything. Yeah, why are you money back? Don't go. We care what scripture says. Don't you matter care? Do what? Yes. God is in control. You go. Hey, good on the pen. I have no fears about anything. Yes, sir. So here we are. Now what? We are back in Noah's days. We are back in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. So there will be lesbians. There will be gays. There will be all sorts of things. Happening. But there will be a true bride. And we want to look at the bride. The true bride of Jesus Christ. The wife of Jesus Christ. Yes, we want to look at her. We want to trace her origin. And we want to show who she is. And uh, I should stay with the word. Yeah, so without taking much of your time tonight, uh, let's, let's look at some of the scriptures. So, what's the first scripture? We read from Revelation chapter 21, verse 9. Hopefully, you can put that on the board. So, we, wanna, we are looking at a few scriptures where we can get to the bride been spoken of. So, yes, when you talk about the bride of Christ, of which we are, uh, we must know where it's coming from. Yes, sir. So we'll be looking at the characteristics of the bride. So, in the Revelation, the 21st chapter, the ninth verse, you know, when Brother Brown preached the message choosing of the bride, I want to take your mind back. He read from two places in Scripture. And one uh, from Genesis, the 24th chapter. And then the other one from Revelation, the 21st chapter. Because in that message, Brother well, Brown spoke about the natural bride. Yes, how the natural bride, a natural bride was chosen. Uh, so he took us to Genesis, the 24th chapter. Okay. And, uh, it shows how uh, Rebecca came on the scene. And I have to the requirements. And I have to the bride of Isaac. And I have to the bride of Isaac. Rebecca, I have Isaac. And I have to the bride of Isaac. And I have to the bride of Isaac. What way? Chulo na chukate e jemo a jie na ka ahan Rebecca. Yes. Now listen very carefully. What net you do? For Rebecca to be the bride of Isaac. Nani Rebecca ba cho Isaac a yin flow. She must have the mind of the messenger. Sande na chulo e jemo. Sane chulo e jwe mo a jie na ka ha yi flow. No a boy ne tuye jwa. Na Eliaza ye no bu he. Me ni kwa jie sole mo. E ka hani oh no chow. I don't know how you know about no bu ne he. E ma bila ka yami no manu o. Di e ka me no manu. De ka mungo e ne fe un nura me no o. And the unwritten aspect. 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 And the unwritten you see? Sorry, 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 sorry. I want to get something. Because we are not here joking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Eliezer said. Yes. Eliezer was a messenger. 
She had the word to bring in the bride. But in bringing in the bride, Eliezer said, let the dancer that will come to the world and I will ask her for water and she will give me water and then water my camels. When Rebecca came on the scene and Eliezer spoke to her, Eliezer never told her uh-huh. of what the camels. Eliezer never told her of the camels. But the drunk car that was in the field was not the camels. But the drunk car that was in the field was not the camels. But the drunk car that was in the field was not the camels. But the drunk car that was in the field was not the camels. When she asked the man of, of the, the messenger. messenger, you don't know. Yes, I can seal up those things. No, I can't. Yes, something got to be sealed. The seal worm. That was what brought the difference. Yes, sir. He didn't tell Rebecca. I tell Rebecca. What are the comments? Oh, I'm from where we go. What are they now? No, 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 no. But if you are part of the bride, she can't even flow up a year. That revelation will come to you. You know what to do with the bride. You know what to do with God saying the Lord. What do you want to do with God saying the Lord? You want to do with God saying the Lord. You want to force you to live by the message. You want to live by the message. You want to have the mind of the message. You want to walk in the light of the world. What the messenger has said will be real to you. Yes. We are living in a state of confusion. This one said, oh, the prophet said this, the prophet said that. Don't know what to do when it comes to dressing, when it comes to the hair. The prophet has categories. The prophet has categories. The prophet will be transferred to you. And that is different between the bride and anybody else. Amen. You love the Lord. Yes. 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 After the prophet has spoken on all of them, he said there came a crowbar in his hands and he reached the top of the pyramid and there was an unwritten stone and the prophet said, look on this. Look on this. I am going to the worst. When I return from the worst, I will come back east and there we will understand the unwritten word. The unwritten rock. The unwritten word. Seal up those days with the seven thunders uttered. And write them down. What are the seven thunders? The revelation contained in the seal. Yeah. And it will take this divinely revealed mystery truth. Yes. To literally. To literally. Turn the hearts of the children. To the fathers. How can you be in the message? And you don't believe that the thunders have been. Your heart has not been turned. The seals have been opened. We know who the first horse rider was. Yes. We know the, uh, the red horse rider. Oh, we know the black horse rider. We know the pale horse rider. We know the souls under the altar. And we know about the tribulation period. And we know about the seventh seal. Yes. We know about the tribulation period. Yes. Which is the coming of the Lord. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Yes, we know where we are going. We know where we are coming from. Yes, seal up those things. And write them down. 
But in the days of the voice of the seven angels. But in the days of the voice of the seven angels. When it shall begin to sound. The mystery of God. Will be revealed. The mystery of God. Will finish. Who God is. Yes who God is. Who is God. It's eternal. It's omnipotent. It's omniscient. It's infinite. It's sovereign. It's all in all. It's the creator. It's the beginning. It's the ending. It's the alpha. It's the alpha. It's the omega. It's the omega. It's the all in all. It's the one that said. It's the one that said. I am that I am. Amen and amen. 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 We are part of him. That's why we can never get lost. That's why we know the things we know. That's why we are talking the things we are talking The mystery of God will be finished. Yes. The mystery of God will be finished. Without controversy. Great is the mystery of God. Great is the mystery of God. Yes. God was manifest in flesh. God became a man. God was manifest in flesh. God became a man. So, 
Who is that uh, lamb's wife? Yes, verse 10. So he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and he showed me that great city. The lamb's wife is the great city. Ephesus was a city. Ephesus was a city. Smyrna was a city. I cannot use Smyrna. Pegamos was a city. Pegamo. Tatara was a city. I cannot use Tatara. Sardis was a city. I cannot use Sardio. Yes, sir. Uh, Philadelphia was a city. Philadelphia, I cannot use Sardio. Philadelphia was a city. Laodicea, I cannot use Sardio. You see, a city is a woman. Mantiasia, you only. So we have other uh, 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 people of the other ages. So there's a fishing bride. A fishing. Smyrna. Are you flowing? But Smyrna, this you flow is here. not the bride in totality. This is the bride in totality. Is that great city? The holy Jerusalem. 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 Descending out of heaven from God. That's why we are looking at the future home. We are looking at that city. We are looking at that bride. We are looking at that lamb's wife. She is coming out from God. From heaven. So we know a source. She is coming from God. We are of God. We are coming from God. Yes. That's why we cannot live any other life. That great city. The holy Jerusalem. The holy Jerusalem. The holy Jerusalem. The bride is holy. I am holy. Come holy. He that holy. He that name the name of the Lord. Depart from iniquity. I am the true bride. I am the righteous living. That accompanies the bearing of the name. That's why we are not here for foolishness. We are not here for rottenness. We are not here for all those kind of things. That great city. The lamb's wife. The bride. Is holy Jerusalem. And it's coming from heaven. Out from God. Let's see the further description. Having the glory of God. The bride has the glory of God. The glory of every man is a woman. Is a woman. That is your glory. Yes. yes. So you can't toy with your wife. Oh, no, no, can I say hey. You cannot despise her. Oh, no, no, you cannot walk over her. Oh, no, no, no. She's not a second class citizen. Yeah, second class money. She's part of you. Oh, funny. And she is your glory. And she must be honored as sad. And she must be cherished as sad. And she must be uh, handled with care. She Amen and amen. I'm talking you scripture. I believe the Bible. Believers are the Bible. I know you believe the Bible. Yes. The bride of Christ has the glory of God. And her light was like unto a stone. It was precious. It was precious. Even like Jasper stone. Jasper stone. Clear as crystal. This is the bride of Christ. This is the lamb's wife. Yes. She has the glory of God. She has the light of God. She reflects him. Yes. So your wife is not a second class citizen? Yes, second class. She's not to be despised and rejected. She's not to be walked over. Yeah, money. I can refer to my doormat. No, sir. Dabida. No, sir. Dabida. That is your glory. Oh, no, yeah. Gino. Yes. That is your glory. Let you. Yes, sir. One day I was just talking to some couples in my office and uh, 
I'll talk about the man being the head and uh, all that kind of things. And uh, uh, you know, I was talking to a couple in the office. I was talking about the position of the man. Uh, he's the head. He's so and so. So as we were going on, then uh, we came to a place. You know, the scripture says that the woman was created for the man. And not the man for the woman. And not the man for the woman. Yes, sir. And the glory of the man is the woman. Uh, the sister says something like, Amen. No, the sister says, Amen. I am your glory. Me, me, you. If you are my head, can you believe you? No argument. And by Kada, but I'm your glory. She me, you know, I'm a glory, you know. Me, you know, yeah. So, how do you treat me? Ellie. That's why Paul said, no, Paul, okay. Uh, Peter said, you know, it's okay. Uh, he said, uh, um, um, they must be honored. And Paul said, they must be cherished. To cherish something is to hold it with high value. Yes, it's very expensive to you. Very dear to you. So you hold it like a vase. Yes. You like it. Yes. That's why uh, yeah, that's why we have to treat our wives. You know? yeah. And the wives must be real eggs to be treated as eggs. Yeah. Amen and amen. Yeah. Amen and amen. Yeah. Yes, that's a bride. He has a glory of God. He has a light of God. Part of God's economy. Yes, sir. Come here from God. Come here from God. Where did the woman come from? He came from the man. Where would the bride come from? It would come from Christ. Amen and amen. Let's go to the next scripture. Now yeah, I'm to it. Let's go to the next scripture. Uh, let's go to Revelation chapter 19. Uh, let's start reading from verse 6. Yes, sir. Love the Lord. Amen. Yes. Uh, we believe the spoken word. Yes. We don't care what any man says. Yes, and you don't care. We believe the spoken word. Yes. So, can we travel now? And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude and as the voice of many waters and as the voice of mighty thundering. Yes, so you look at that. A voice of a great multitude. A voice of many waters. A voice of mighty thundering. Saying what? Hallelujah. 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 For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. God is on the throne. He's the one that is reigning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believers are this. Oh, here no, yo. That God is on the throne. That is the omnipotent. And he's the one that is reigning. Then where is our fear? We must go back to rich scripture and appropriate it. Yes. Verse 7. Let us be glad and rejoice. Let us be glad and rejoice. Why are we to be glad? Why are we to rejoice? For the marriage of the Lamb is come. And his wife has made herself ready. Yes, I want to comment on this for the next few 
uh, manage before we close. Yes, sir. Listen, brothers and sisters. <laughs> I will say something small about word. Yes. And I'm going to strike a difference between the dressing of the hall. My chum. Blam on your bodu, your bodu, a salmon, and the dressing of the bride. Can you throw them with a salmon? And that is why, the end of why you won't. When we are coming to wedding, that you won't buy wedding here, our sisters must dress different. Salmon, you may hear a salmon. If it's so, I'm going to show you that from scripture. I'm talking about the Bible, you know. Why would believe the things that we believe? Yes, why would not believe all the dresses we see over there? And there's a dressing of halos and prostitutes and showing their breasts, their thighs, everything. Dead with every kind of thing. But there's a bride of Christ. She has a dress in me. Amen. 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 Let us be glad. And rejoice. Yes. For the what? <laughs> Something is happening to you. Let's bear with me. Oh my God. I want to bring out some quick quotes before we go tonight. On a as one of you going below me, look at it and walk back. Just bear with me. Of I know that you feel me. So here we are. Now, so let's be glad and rejoice. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, what yeah, shall we? And give a hand to him. You walk a woo, a hundred. Yes, let's give a hand to him. Walk a woo, a hundred. For the marriage of the Lamb is come. And his wife has made herself ready. I want to come in on these things for tonight and then we close. Yes. And uh, we go look at those three few scriptures uh, before we actually start. So we have not started. We are, not started uh, we are looking at the scriptures pertaining to the bride. So we have looked at the bride being that great city. Yes, coming out from heavy out of God, showing the souls of the bride. Well, are you flowing? Yes, sir. Uh, just as uh, the woman came out from the man. Yes, sir. The bride must come out of Christ. Are you flowing? Yes, sir. Are you flowing? Yes, sir. Are you flowing? Yes, sir. Are you and rejoice. And give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb is come. And his wife made herself ready. The word marriage talks about a wedding. Or marriage festival. Or a wedding banquet. Or a wedding feast. Now the scripture says that she has made herself ready. Yes, the word ready there talks about to make the necessary preparations. Yes. What I do know, uh, you can never come for wedding ceremony as a bride. Well, no, no, make yourself ready. It was ready. It was made sure everything is safe. Before they said, go. Yes, sir. 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 Yes,
by flesh. Now, Bo. You don't have a dress here. You have your ass all here. You dress and enter the car. Yes, you make yourself ready. You make yourself ready for what? Oh, I feel can't look here, Minnie. You don't go to wedding ceremony and the bride or somebody that's not ready. Me She's ready. not coming to uh, talk a face here. Yeah, wedding. Uh, put a shoe here. Yeah, we, me wedding at it. The parko, I can't even throw shoes by her. Yeah, Jimmy. No. Tabida. She made herself ready. I can't let her say, but I feel can't look. Oh, yeah, more people, more people. She's ready. She's ready for what? They say, they for the ceremony. They say, can I mean, young brother, job. Yes. So the bride of Christ must be ready by now. Lord, Christ, I was, and they say, yeah, they yes, made herself ready. Say, that is to make the necessary preparations. Okay, more, they say, yeah, better jacket. Even here, 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 She's coming to be for the thing. If I can only cry, I am a woman. So she's ready. Do you have a fake talent? The dress is ready. She's ready. Everything is ready. No fair, no fair, ready. No fair, no share. So all that we hear, she's on the compound. Oh, no, I know. I have a wash, a wash. And she's the center of attraction, you know. Nick, the young girl, where? Whatever, so you have a dear walk. Yeah. When the man is coming in, it's normal. Oh, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's normal. What is everybody waiting for? No more crab, a fame, a bra. Yo, I am flow. Lama is normal, you know? No, I'm not going to get a good one. Yeah, fun fair, good crab. No man, no man. No matter what the shoe would be like, the okay. suit would be like. A shoe can be easy. You want to call it, huh? Then, well, no man. I call it a shame of people. Now we know him. He can come in brown suit. Suit to cream. I said, I thought, I said, I saw. I dreamed with you. Lamlu suit you. Royal blue. The royal blue, I would you. Sea blue. I love sea blue. Sky blue. The sky blue we choose to be there fine. Forest green. Hello, forest green. Who? Purple. Hello, purple. Mo. Mo, who would you? No, ma. Le is a mole. What are we waiting for? She mean the club. We are waiting for the bra. Oh, my flow. And she must come in prepared, ready for the ceremony. The Sonica Apoy, and they say, didn't you? Now listen. So we are talking about the bride. Why you throw it? What you want? She has made herself ready. I can let her just say it. Done all the necessary preparations. You know, you know. Let's go to verse eight. I want to call your attention to something. You know. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine lily. Lily. I can let you be. I can lean in fair, fair that you are wool ale. Listen, oh, go to it. Clean and white. Lily, fair, fair offense. I can eat a chip, the yay and futahu. For the fine lily, I can lean in fine, fine, fine. It's the righteousness of saying. Logic, go to it. A chelloy, a jale. You see the bride's dress? When are you flowing? Italy. She's a rainy fine linen. I got wool like a linen. Fine, fine, fine. Clean and white. Yeah, he checked the young footahu. For the fine linen. I got a linen, fine, fine. It's the righteousness of sense. Logi, he chelloy, a jale. And he said unto me, Ye came yanke. Right. Ma. Blessed are they. I draw me a ball. Which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. Ne afore ne achi ameke to bille blano chwa mo konche molle. And he said unto me, Ne kemi ake. These are true sayings of God. Ene nungo ano kwale vye mo so ne. So now, this is the last wife. To bille egane. I ready to find lady. 
Which is the righteousness of the saints? It's a linen that is clean. And why? Yes. So now this is the bride's wife. Hey, hey. So, Niji, the lamb's wife. Uh, the lamb's wife. I said the bride's wife. Uh, the lamb's wife. I'm going to tell you again. Let me change. Yes. You see? No. Hey, it's quite different. So let's say some more. But very simple. Shona, it's some more simple way. Fine lily. Lily and fine wago. White and clean. Yeah. Now let's go to Revelation chapter 17. We will see the dressing of the hall. Revelation 17. So that when we talk about your wedding garments, the way to be simple. When you are here, but Yes. It's a scripture. Bible is on the Sony. So we are considering two women now. One is a whore. The other one is the bride of Christ. So let's see the address. So he carried me away in the spirit. Into the wilderness. And I saw a woman. Nina Yoko. Sit up for a scarlet colored beast. Later, a colo chulukono. Now you later upon one on the shelly. Eh, Lenny. Obana. I got me near you later upon one. I got you good. It talk of God, it shall be a You know that type of a woman, you know. Yes. That's it. A moosa. Yes. They are done the ganga. Lenny. Sitting up on a scarlet colored beast, a tacolo chulukono, full of nets of blasphemy, then you broke a musu bog way, having seven hours, then you check Pao, and then on, Cacotoy, no man, and the woman was arrayed, you know, Aulale, in purple, ke, eh, 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 well, purple to metu, yes, and a scarlet color, ke, eh, to look at you call. And deck with gold, and precious stones, and pearls, and have a gold cup in her hand, full of the abomination and filthiness of her fornication. Yes. There's a woman not living true to her vows. Yo, Yes. Yes. So let's look at the dressing feather. And upon her forehead, what's the name written? Mystery Babylon. Babylon. The great. Babylon. The mother of her lords. Two years. An abomination of the earth. So this one. Money is a harlot. Your boy, living in filth and road. That cannot be the pride of Christ. Money, you have to flow. Yes, sir. Now, listen, let's go further. And I saw the woman, Nina Yone, drunken with the blood of the saints. And with the blood of the Matthias of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wonder with great admiration. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman. And the beast that carried her, which has seven years and ten on. And Listen, well, uh, 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 there's one quote because I'm saying so many. Uh, I, I want to find one quote to uh, carry short from there. So now I will not take much of your time. Time is not on my side. Um, but something I wanted you to see. Even uh, went over that. Uh, let, let's go back to uh, um, 
uh, verse 4 of Revelation 17. Yes. You see, in verse 4, now talking about this woman, we are looking at the address. You see, the scripture says that she was arrayed in purple, a salad color, and dead. I will look at the word dead. Yeah, dead with gold. And precious stone. And pearls. You see, this is a woman. Now you know. Satan's bride. I bosan I flow on it. She is dead. I dig by Yes. Three magic are coming to wedding. Have this around the neck of that of that. No, no. Yeah. 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 I door with things. Can you be a dickle? I can't pull Yes. You see that weddings? Bona. The neck, right? Bona. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a bona, man. Come up at weddings. Now with a makeup artist, uh -huh. with their faces dead, with colors. I'm a here, ne. Lipo, lipo, ye. Slow to it. Extra eyelashes. Keke, oh, you better not try, ne. I chat no pain, get him away. You see that now? No? Born, Ale. She's dead. I can't dig What's the word dead means? You know? I dig here. It's a drama. A door with gold? She got of you. a woman ornamented with gold so profusely that she seems to be guarded and dead with gold. After manner of a hollow right. with rich jewelry. Ah. Yeah. I think it. Now, so she got you. Uh, uh, this is an hollow, you know? Yo. Her dressing was quite different. Yo. Go no, with gold, deck with this. She got you. You need to be sort of sort of knock away a year. Yeah. You know, they be a work of a queer time. I get two to you. A salmon. Yes. Can change. Yes. She got you. You need to be a year. You need to be a year. That, that, that's it. That is it. That is it. That is it. That is it. But this is the, the hall. Like it to, to you. This is a hall. To, to you. The dressing was different. So they have a hall. Yes. She has things around the neck. Maybe I'm going to take away. And then she's a pay. Yes. Take with all these things. I can even have a pay. So you know that. Bon, I'm not going to. No, there's a striking difference she not between the bride of Christ and this woman. See this woman's dress. Come on, But when you came to the bride of Christ, she was just arrayed in fine linen, white and clean, which are the righteousness of the same. So since I don't come for wedding, no, sister. Kaba wedding. Kind of like a, a can change. The bride should care. Are you sure? Okay, Abba. A rainy white garment. They were Italian Kunta. Very simple. You want to live with me? Yes. So it's not us. So are you okay? It is scripture. Babu, okay. Christ's bride. This way you flow. Was a rain fine lily. I can't run like a lily pen. Yeah, no. Oh, they look at the hollow. She can't hollow to her. They were there, but they were scatulu. They were there, like poly poly po. The pain, yeah, he. I go more to go be. Sisters, are you the bride in Revelation 19? Oji, are you flowing on a koyo when you walk in the room? Or the one in Revelation 17? Hello, money or you to the market for war? People don't like simplicity. Me sumo humi ni fe mo. The bride of Christ is a simple person. This why you flow is simple. Amen. Which one are you? 
No, Libya, you are telling me to do it. Your wedding coming can be very simple. The wedding in there is only very simple, okay? Yes. The one in Revelation 19. To you, my wife, can you know? Not in Revelation 17. To you, my wife, can you know? So you see. You can dress in a wedding. Yeah, bona. Oh, you saw he keke bono sugo keba wedding. We have scriptural basis for it. No, no, you are fake here. What do we want to know? Yes. If you don't know, know it today. Call the co. When only. Young sisters. Yeah, me. You buy a bi. Very simple wedding garment. Oh, garment here wedding. No, it's simple. To cover from neck to uh, down. Ne kete. Yes. Oh, keba shikon. Hehehe. That's what my wedding garment. Hey, me no. Uh, it might be like in Revelation 19. Eh, go go. I tell you, go kula. I na let you moyo kujumu ni makere. Yes. Not get middleton wedding garment. Yeah, get middleton no. You know get middleton. Oh, the middleton no. You know a wedding garment. This side is mosquito net. Le, if I na get a mosquito net, I go be. Yes. The, on the top of the brush, mosquito net. Okay, before you take uh, mosquito net. Why should we have a wedding camera there? Yes. Sometimes the sisters come to church and you look at their sleeves. Mosquito net here, mosquito net here. You don't need mosquito net. Yes. One well is. Cover inside. Ah, humming, be humming. Yes. Your garment must be the righteousness of the saints. Yeah. You oh, cannot Samo. tell me that you have transparent dressing and it's the righteousness of the saints. Oh no, okay, me okay. Mosquito net here. Noji, jalo ya ah, bintu ange hichelo ajale. Amen and amen. We have Bible, oh. Bible no wado mo. If I'm not married, for both of you, take your song as an ordinary wedding garment. No, no. It must be simple. Are you for you? No, he. It's yes. simple. It's simple. I must cover you. They have a whole bunch of mothers. Mammy, don't let your daughters dictate to you. I remember, no, be you a chon, but no, I Tell them what is right for chon, I'm an only jalani. Yes. So today we know the striking difference. Revelation 17 is there. But there's Revelation 19. Yes. 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 Desiring to put on fine lily. Desiring to put on wedding garment. Your physical life must be equal to your spiritual life. Eh, no, I can't get all three. No, but I want to get a little fair for a little fair. Oh, my mommy, what I see. Eh, I come on. Oh, hello. What I see. Yes. Righteous living. Jealous. Young sisters, young brothers. Yeah, me, Brian, Brian. That's what we stand for. No, okay, yeah. So there's a striking difference between the dressing of a whore and the dressing of a saint. Well, short to fun, quiet. Yes. And this is about wedding. Wedding, no, Yes. I hope I'm clear. Uh, sisters, I hope I'm clear. Yes, the price hold is very simple. Are you floor his No darkness. Simple. Oh, no adoring. Oh, no dikimo. Of all this kind of thing. Oh, no diagbai. She can't chulu. The love's why. To go to the rain. In fine lily. The lily fair. White and clean. Which is the righteousness of the same. He chelloi. He chelloi. I chale. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. So it's all Brother David, no? Oh, yeah. Brother David, he care. It's the Bible. Can you follow me? 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 Can you follow
The bride. The lamb's wife. It's a red in fine lily. White and clean. Yeah. It's the righteousness of the saints. Yes. You don't believe in all this decking. So in our time, it will be red here, blue here, green here. And make up artists, they will paint your face as if it is a war. Okay. 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 This is Bible. Yes. So, sisters, your wedding garment. Wedding must be very simple. Very simple. Because the final bride has a very simple wedding garment. And if you are part of that final bride, how can your own be different? Very simple. Very simple. Very simple. Masquerade. Blue, yeah, green, yeah, yellow, yeah, black. Yeah. No, sorry. So this is a striking difference. Soto, fine, you are The whole is in Revelation 17. The last wife is in Revelation 19. So, so you can see the striking difference. So when we are talking about wedding garments, you must understand. Yes, it's not us trying to make something. Yes. But it's there in scripture. It's there in scripture. Yes. It's there in scripture. We can't do otherwise. We can't do otherwise. We can come by the scripture. Yeah, there are many things that we can read tonight. The time when open mirrors is almost getting to age. Yes. So we are only looking at uh, uh, scriptures pertaining to the bride, we are the bride, uh, uh, which is like into a great city. We have seen the bride. We have seen the bride. We have seen the bride. Yes, sir. White and clean. Then there are the uh, Second Corinthians chapter. I have about five minutes or so. Uh, let me just. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2. 22. We don't need you. 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 We do Concerning the bride, here. Paul said, Paul, okay. I am jealous over you. You can enjoy with godly jealousy. That must be the position of every true minister of the gospel. Yes. 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 To one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Yes. Paul said, I will to one husband. I have a quote for you. What Brabham said about this scripture. I that you should not bring him to shame. Yes. Because this message is passed us to Christ. I can share your money to our back here, Christo. Yes. To live a pure and a clean life. Not the fornication, not the adultery, not the adultery, not the adultery. Yes, not so to live any other life. Dress and I walk in the house. Following the crowd. You cannot see the difference between a believer and a non-believer. Yes. 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 We have a spouse to Christ. Paul wants us to be changed virgin. Now, 
Yes. Yes. So here we believe in holiness. We believe in purity. Yes. Marriage is honorable. And the marriage went on to far. Adulterous and homongous. God will judge. Yes. Yes. There's sacredness around marriage. Yes, sir. We don't believe in committing adultery. You can't give your wife and go to some other woman. No, no, no. And if you're not married, you cannot give yourself to any man. Yes, sir. Because we don't come here for foolishness. Yes, sir. Any man can have access to you. You must be given to that man by your daddy. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Somebody has to get up. Yes. Adam could not have come for the woman anyhow. Adam, any girl I'm more your girl. It's God that gave the woman to Adam. Yes. And somebody has to give you your wife. Somebody has to give you your wife. Who gave you your wife? 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 I'm Robert Joe. Who gave you your wife? Oh, God, no, okay, I'm This guy will come for wedding ceremony for coming, see? You think it's a show when we ask, who shall I uh, ask to give this woman to be the wife of this man? Okay, no, okay, this is a joke. Okay, no, okay, you know, huh? Yeah, yeah, sure, my sure. We are not joking. Yeah, sure, sure. Because somebody might give you your wife. Yeah, God, no, I'm not going to give you your wife. Yes. Or else we're thieves. You are living in adultery. If you are here, call your beer. And your wife has not been given to you officially. No, no, I get go kusum film na akele hanko bo. I beg you. Bo fine. I beg you. Bo fine. Are you a thief? Juro juro. Are you a thief? Abi akere juro juro. You see the people in the work. Jambi ye. Before I close. When a man knows a woman before paying anything, the first item on the list, we are catching a thief. Julo, in the shimomo, Julo. So how you go to get married like I'm a Julo? Oh, okay. 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 We are catching a thief. This is all for enter This is for the way. What do I feel like you are here? I'm a good girl. You are the only one. You are the only one. You are the only one. And you have access to the woman, you are considered a thief. Abu Abaka Julo Jibo, you just can't get on a hill or the elite here, no. Julo, but that's why you are the one who feels Abu Huna. But you go ahead and Jibo. No, go ahead and Jibo. Oh my God! Why should you allow yourself to be stolen first? Eh? Why should you allow yourself to be stolen first? No, I'm going to go. Put it over it in that. I go over my jagger again. Eh, not you. This on you. First item on the list. We are catching a thief. Oh, you can't can no go hanko. Be kusumi aje ishi. Yes. First, you have to be considered a thief. Aba aba bobo julo. I plan on going to julo you. It is terrible. For you to be considered as a thief. Yeah, ni akwadi. Aga abu julo. I plan on undakai. No abu jumbo. There should be no thief here. No abu julo. I can't be here. I hope you understand. Yes. Paul said, "Paul, okay. I have godly jealousy. 
I have a spouse to one husband. I want you to live a pure and a clean life. Yes. 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 On, um, uh, we also consider another scripture concerning the ten virgins. Uh, yes, sir. So we'll be talking about this lamb's wife as a as a wise virgin. So why you neke? To when they are in front of you, they are not Yes, sir. And we're gonna look at the relation between Christ and the bride. So I will share more. Just briefly a scripture from Ephesians chapter 5. And then uh, um, we'll look at the ten virgins. Then uh, we'll look at the bride and the spirit saying the same thing. And then I uh, will start tracing the origin of the bride. God bless you all. Thank you for coming to church. No bad job. I'll go back for tonight. Okay. Uh, 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 yes, uh, um, um, uh, we have been shown the last wife. I told to go and tell me, yes, sir. You know, I said, coming out from heaven out of you know, God. I said, pretty, yes, you know, sir, with the light of God. Okay, no more. And then, uh, we have, we, we, we look at it. Uh, uh, be ready. Okay, let's say uh, she was a rainy fine lady. Okay, uh, uh, like a lady uh, fine. Which is the righteousness of the saints. Yes, uh, she's a woman uh, uh, we uh, contrast her uh, with the uh, holy revelation 17. Well, you uh, 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 but this bride of Christ was already fine lady. Fine. Yes. Which is the righteousness of the saints. She's a holy bride. With the glory of God in her life. With, With the, the light of God shining in her home. And she's ready. She's ready. Yes. God help us. Shall be on our feet. Yes. With our eyes bowed and our eyes closed. I want to go to the Lord in prayer. I want to commit ourselves into the hands of the Lord. We desire nothing else than to walk in the light of the world as He is in the light. Yes, sir. 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 Holy. Walking in the light. We want the Lord to help us. To do what is pleasing and unacceptable unto Him. We Shall we all go to Lord? For Him, what's holy?
Oh, brother, this is a request coming from uh, Brother Vincent. He says, Saints of God, please pray for me and my wife for journey messages as we travel to my uncle's funeral in the central region. God bless you. What to a fatal law? Oh, no, I mean, a chapel, yala, the central region. Shall we pray for Johnny Messi for our brother and our sister? Yeah, what to have it? Oh, no, Jordy. Shall we pray? Brethren, shall we pray and commit it to the hands of the Lord uh, the program here tomorrow? Asking for the Lord's leadership, direction, and guidance yeah. that everything will be done to bring glory unto His living name. Yeah. What you, That's what? Uh, uh, tomorrow program on the, uh, for the youth. What you want? But you to need your beer can have a no sire. I mean, if you want to try it, like a guy, I think I see more at a pen. I feel what I want to hear now. Shall we pray? With our eyes closed and our heads bowed, uh, we ask Brother Tio to come and dismiss us in the name of the Lord. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we are so much thankful to you for tonight. There are many people, oh God, who have desire to live to see today, but that is there are no more. We are not better than those that are dead. Oh, we are not better than those that are buried. But your grace has sustained us. I want to thank you for the things that you have been hearing, oh God. The Bible tells us that the bride has made herself ready, oh God. May you prepare us. May you condition us for the day of the Lord. We pray that, Holy God, one thing that we are asking you to do for us, that we strengthen our, our prayer life. Strengthen our prayer life and open our understanding to the things of God. That when we read it, then may we understand them. Grant it, our Heavenly Father. I pray, righteous Heavenly Father, and commit, Lord, your people to our hands. For here they are going to their various homes. Be with them. Protect them, O oh God. Those that will be driving I pray the righteous Lord, hold the steering, Lord, and take each one of us home safely. I add this in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you all. Please, you can have your seats.